11 a.m. And I just got back from Walking Clover for like 45 minutes. I am in the middle of finishing up my decorating for Christmas video for the main channel. I really want to get that posted today, like this afternoon. So I'm going to sit down and do my voiceover. Hopefully that won't take very long. And then I'll finish editing on my laptop or whatever. Um, and at, in about a couple hours, I should start warming up for my lesson. Um, I have a lesson with a, a different person today, just trying it out for, you know, a, a couple of times. Um, just see what they have to offer. And then, uh, I don't know what else is up on the agenda. I do have to go to Target. Um, just not to get any more Christmas decorations, but just to get like some hair gel, um, there's a few other things, paper towels, there are some other things on the list, I forgot what they were, but I put them in there. I might just like do the whole drive up situation because that means I don't have to actually like, go in the Target and be tempted, but um, I'm going to do this voiceover and we will uh, we'll reconvene after I'm done. I'm sitting in the car. I'm gonna go in at about like a couple, a minute, but because I have a voice listen, my lipstick looks so weird. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna have to fix it. Anyway, I have my voice lesson in a couple of minutes and I'm feeling like not that great today vocally. Gonna be honest, but we're gonna work with what we have. I have like massive, like the PMS, it's happening. And I feel like that's affecting some things. So, and also I think I'm kind of tired. So we're gonna, we're gonna strive for, for excellence, even though we're not feeling that great. And I have to call the Lexus dealer after I, um, after I finish because I had all the tire sensors, tire pressure sensors replaced in my car because one went out and they said they're all going to go out because they're all the same age. And so when I had them replaced, I was like, yay. And then the low tire pressure light came on. Uh, and so I took it back to the dealer. They said it was the spare tire, which I don't know how I would ever find that out because the spare tire is like in the back. It's not like on my car. And so they filled the spare tire and filled all the rest of the tires that are on my car to whatever PSI they're supposed to be at and sent me home and it was fine. And then the next time I turned on my car, tire pressure lights on again. Now I have confidence that the tire is not low. So I've been driving with it for a couple of days, but I got to call the Lexus dealer and take it back in. Now they were really nice, like the first time and like gave me a deal on it. Um, but like, oh my God, it's so annoying. Anyway, let's go in and uh, sing for an hour. See what happens. Hi, I'm back. It, I had a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic three times um, lesson. And I'm definitely a hundred percent, a thousand percent gonna go back and see her again. Um, like, uh, fantastic. Oh, the fireplace fan just came on, so. Um, but it's like almost four o'clock and it's dark, man. So um, I was gonna go to Target on the way home, but I got tired. And so now I came home, cause like driving, to tar I didn't want to drive home from Target w in rush hour traffic, and it starts around 3 o'clock. You know, if I'm really being honest about Boston area traffic, rush hour traffic doesn't exist because it's bad all the time. Like, whenever I'm trying to, I'm like going to go somewhere, I'm like, oh, thinking about driving to uh, Everett at like 10 a.m. Could be traffic. Uh, coming back at two o'clock, surely there's traffic. And then don't try to go south of the, of the city at any time because 93, I-93 going south of Boston is a nightmare all the time. Not just at rush hour. I mean, at rush hour, particularly bad, but like all the time. And I don't get it. I mean, it's not like as bad as LA, but pretty damn bad. So... That's why I was like, you know what? I'm gonna skip Target. I might place a delivery order, which is 
a very spoiled thing to do. But I might still do it. It's fine. So, otherwise, I'm just here chilling. Turn on the fireplace because it's a little chilly in here. And I got the tree decoration still out, just hanging. And I'm like, my husband's been home. He's had today off. He took the dog outside for a walk. I think he's like talking to a friend on the phone. So, he's walking the dog. And I'm hoping we could decorate the tree so it can be decorated. Because right now, it just looks so naked. Just out just with the lights on it, right? What is that? It just has lights on it, no decorations. It looks good on the camera though. In real life, it's not this bright. Like my ISO is turned way, okay, okay. Let's actually, I'll turn it down so you can see what real life, what it looks like there. It's kind of closer to that, you know? Anyway, my other thing is I think the onboard mic for my vlogging camera stinks. <laughs> I think the sound is pretty bad or it's picking up too much sound. So, I mean, I have, um, lab mics and I have other mics. I have a, like a directional mic. I, I suppose I could put on it, which would help it. But like, it sounds bad, man. Like I was listening back to the footage from yesterday and it sounds bad. A part of me would like to buy a new vlogging camera I usually buy a new camera like every couple of years and this, this the newest Sony like vlogging camera looks sexy and it has like the battery release portion of the camera not close to this, the little screw where the tripod goes it's because right now every time I change the battery on my camera which is often or take out the SD card I have to unscrew it off its tripod and that's dumb so they did correct that after several models and uh, the newest one has it like on the side. So that may be enough to put me over the edge. But we're talking about a $700 investment. So I don't know. I mean, if maybe if I stop ordering deliveries from Target, I might be able to afford one. <laughs> Is this not, are you not focusing? Are you not, are you not a focused? Are you, are you not focusing my face? Anyway. I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight. We'll probably order from the Indian place. That's close to here. Um, I wouldn't mind having Indian food, to be honest. I wouldn't mind at all. Although, I like the place up the street a little better than the place up the street the other way. <laughs> so, I feel like, well, we'll talk about it, I guess, when, when my friend gets here, but in the meantime, I do need a little bit of a, of a break, a breaky time. So I'm going to take a break because I did edit the video for the main channel today. It's up, should be up now. Maybe it's later. I don't know what time I scheduled it for. But it will be published today. So I feel good about that. And I do have to make a thumbnail for tomorrow's live stream for KDZ. But I can do that in like... 10 minutes. I'll give that. I'll just, I'll just do that and get it over with. All right. I will see you later. <laughs>
All right, finally finished decorating the Christmas tree, the official Christmas tree. Is it finished? I don't know. Maybe could use a few more ornaments, but I think it looks pretty good. Maybe there are some blank spaces. I'll I'll work on this for a sec. I forgot to film our dinner. Yes. Oh yeah, my God. I am so bad at well, this come vlogging on, thing. Go I'm, ahead and vlog. I'm so over, bad. It. It's oh, over. I gotta, no, I, it's not over. It's not over. Look at my little pretty bowl there. It, see? Oh, so I gotta, I gotta, see? I gotta James get has the green food. pants in. This oh. is for Christmas cheer. This is James, everyone. Also, hey, also <laughs> flying pigs on the. On the I was the, admiring the, your yeah. socks. Yeah, They're yeah, right. very cute. They're so cute. I love them. Little kitties. Little oh my kitties. God, so cute. Oh. On the so bottom. cute. What I don't even know what it says, but it says something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. James is in town because he's singing oh, with the Boston Pops this yeah, week. Yeah, you know. Santa. There's a lot of Santa. There's a lot of singer he's, things. He's coming to town. He is coming to town. In three different songs, he's coming. Is there a sleigh ride also? He's never going, but he's coming. There's a sleigh ride, <laughs> a and sleigh at ride. the end of it, we go, um, I kid you not, we make the sound of horses' hooves with our mouth, like... Are you serious? And then the, then the orchestra does a little razzle-dazzle, and then we go, literally, sleigh ride. Oh my gosh. Singing is so glamorous, isn't it? That they know out. that I'm a Grinch. <laughs> they know that I'm the Grinch in the group. I wear Grinch socks at that gig. I have them in my suitcase. But here's the thing that gets me the most. We sing this year so much about Mary's little boy child. I never thought we would emphasize the boyness so much. Literally, there's one called well, Mary's is, little boy child. He's just born. I. But it's the boy emphasis. Like, there's literally five pieces that usually just in the program skipped, where it's like, it? oh, he's a boy. <laughs> the baby boy. The baby boy. Mary's little baby boy. And Mary I'm like, had a baby. And I'm like, why is it a gender reveal? Like, what? <laughs> what is? what is the deal? You know, it's very...